right there and these fans getting their first look at their QB one of the future. And I'd imagine it's got to be a big plus for him to get his first start here in front of that home crowd. I know there's a school of thought. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Saquon Barkley. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Now right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A nice completion there for the first down. And Charles, you think about the quarterbacks of recent vintage that have been thrust into action week one. It's no guarantee of future success, but we sure have seen some good ones. We certainly have, partner. How about Joe Burrow with the Bengals in 2020? He was excellent. Kyler Murray with the Cardinals. The best part about his game has his team right at the brink of the playoffs. And Deshaun Watson has won division titles after having started from day one. Oh, he's got some breathing room. A little track jump. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. The extra point splits the uprights. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. 98 yards rushing for him in his first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. Second and two. They'll set up a throw. What a grab. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Another completion there. And what, what a big moment in a young quarterback's life, that first NFL start. And Charles, obviously, they want him to win games. But if they're looking at him under a microscope in this first month or so, what do you think they're hoping to see from him? Well, for every question they have for him, they should have for themselves as a coaching staff because it's not just how quickly can he learn the offense, it's what they can teach him, right? How can he build a relationship with his receivers? And, of course, how open is he to learning? And, of course, how open are they to giving him things that he can put in place on the field? Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Steven Weatherly able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Yeah, boy, the strength on display there as he rumbles through tacklers for a gain of about eight. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Dancing to his left. Boy, shifts past him. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. And it's complete to Adams. 
And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. And the linebacker, Jeremiah Wusu koromoa on the tackle. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They're going to look to throw. He finds his target, Beckham. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Well, they made the play there, and I'll guarantee you their coaches and the other players are screaming at them about their pride. Come on, guys. He's already gotten in three times. You can't give up a fourth one. And now, Craig, they were able to make the stop. And you knew they were going to go to him to try to get that fourth. And why wouldn't they? It's not just getting the fourth. He's the hot hand, so to speak, right? The hot feet in this situation. And he knows how to find the end zone. That time, he just didn't get there. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now on comes the Washington field goal unit from the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And his kick is good. And that'll make this a seven point game. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. That catch good for only a couple. So a nice throw there, and CD, I, I have to think you've been impressed with what you've seen thus far here in his debut. Uh, you know me well, I have been impressed because what I've seen is him starting to understand how to play the game in a short amount of time. The dazzling plays, they'll come and with experience, but right now we're seeing him handle the game, make all the smart plays and the right reads. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. For many people, that's not your standard play call in that third down situation. But for so many offenses, they just want the ball in the hands of their playmakers in open space. And after he caught it, he did a nice job picking up the first down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. Looking to throw. It's caught here by Adams. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. A first down carry for Barkley. And some room to run now. And he's got a first down as he's going to be taken down. But a very nice pick up there just in front of the two-minute warning. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and ten as they search for a go-ahead score. And oh, what a catch! In a two-minute drill, we often talk about taking care of the football, but sometimes it's just a matter of who wants it more. How about him going up top on a 50-50 ball and taking it away for a big play? Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Saquon Barkley punching it in from a yard away. And 
Washington. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. In a tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Pass complete, Hurst. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. On the draw, this is Barkley. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. So now this one's going to rest on the foot of their second-year kicker. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. So now this one's going to rest on the foot of their second-year kicker. This a long one from 54. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot, and a costly one. Charles, 54 yards, I'm surprised that came up short. I would agree with that one because normally, if he misses, it's accuracy, not length, because he has plenty of leg for that. But maybe it's like I hit my golf shot, you know? Maybe it's like my wedge. You know, when you chili dip and you hit the ground ahead of it, sometimes that'll shorten your distance as well. So no gain on the play, and that'll make it second and 10. A give to Barkley out of the gun. Barkley a first down and more. Sheds off the tackle. And they will finally drag him down at the Chargers 33. 209 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Trying to improvise. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Back to throw. He completes it to Beckham. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT. You've got to go to the guys you can trust. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Steven Weatherly showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. A great game, partner. Spectacular finish. They needed at least a field goal to keep the game alive. They do one better. They get it in the end zone and end it. And I don't know about you, but I'm worn out. That type of a game takes it all out of us.